Hello crafty cuties, welcome back. This layout today guys, I think this video is gonna be 100 years long, but we are today working on my day for, my layout for day four. I have a ton going on guys, it's probably it's gonna be a disaster, but I quickly wanted to show you what I do for printing my photos, and I'm printing out like 12 today. Oh my gosh, it's way too many. I'm not even gonna do a screen recording, I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. And I use the Canon Selfie app, and it just makes it really easy and simple if you have the Canon selfie, of course, because that's what I use to print on. I've mentioned that a ton. Um, but it just makes it really easy if you want to print um, four pictures to a page, or you can do two, you can make collages, you can do all kinds of things. So I'm not gonna go throughout the app, but I just wanted to quickly mention that. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So my photos are gonna, photos are going to be printing in the background while we get started. So just in case you've never seen one of these before, this is um, the size, it's like, I don't know, probably five inches by seven. And so it's a nice little um, machine and then the photos just print out here. And so you're gonna hear this in the background, but like I said, let's hop back to the actual layout for today. So this is the area that I'm working with in my December daily. So we have a nice center spread, which is perfect because I'm adding tons of photos. I'm gonna put my um, journal just out of the way because if you guys know, and if you're new, then you might not know, but I like to actually just work on a base page that's a separate page or paper, and then I'll put it back into the journal. So I'm trying to figure out which layouts or which paper I want. Let's let's slow down, Let's we can do this. Um, but let me quickly show you, I did create this cute little cabin and the photos Obviously, I didn't even mention the photos that I am putting into today's spread is um, photos. We went to a cabin on the mountain, Mount Hood, and we also had like a snow day. So I was really inspired to create a little cabin. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, this is kind of the same idea as the fairy door that I have. And it's pretty popular in my shop because I turned it into a printable, which is what I also did with this one. Now, I'm using the original. This is going to be, you know, this is the one that I scanned in and everything so I'm using that in my journal but I quickly did want to show you that like I said I turned it into a printable and while I feel like it doesn't look like too much because this is just my my illustrations it's not like designed in any kind of program um, these are really fun to work with if you want to put a lot of time into cutting out each wood um, slat like I did on my original and like distressing it and of course you can just use it like this I'm just saying there's a lot you can do with it And then the printable also has like the lining so that we can make it a flip out and everything like that I'm hoping to have a video where I'll actually go into depth of using the actual printable but for day for today again I'm using the original so you'll kind of see how I am going to spruce it up um, So yeah, this is what is going to be kind of like the main Thing on the page and so I was just trying to figure out I sort of like this red so I think just since I have so much going on I'm gonna grab that at first I was thinking of this blue snowflake but I don't know I think I like the red and I'm really liking Tim Holtz paper so let me also get some of this out of the way so we'll have the red on one page with the cabin and then what else we need to have one more and I think since I have so many pockets or Wow, okay, I gotta just slow it down. Since I have so many photos, I think I'm going to create a pocket on the other side and maybe make a bunch of tags. So, we'll have lots of prints going on, but, oh, I kinda like this. Let's see how we like that. Just because there's a little bit of green, bluish green. There we go. Yep, I think I'm just gonna go for it. So now what we're going to do is cut these down so that they will be the same size um as my journal pages okay so it's roughly five inches across and again i hope i'm in focus a lot of you have commented on my new um camera saying that it looks good so please keep it up because i'm still learning and i don't really know the settings too well but it was really fun i actually took a vlog at the cabin and that was so much fun. Um, it's out, up on my vlog channel if you didn't know I have a vlog channel. Now I might be going off camera here just a few times every now and again because I'm grabbing things from the side that's not really important for you to see. It's just basically it's my mess. And I'm just making sure that I trim down a teeny bit too, too much, but that's okay. Okay, so let me go grab those photos. 
Okay, so we're gonna start with the left side just because I think that's gonna be the more simple page since this cabin is already done. Now, um, this door flips open like that and then these also flip open, so I don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet, but it's probably going to be uh, probably like the name of the cabin and where it's located, but I'm just gonna leave that for now. And then, so I also have this card shape cut out so that it can flip open because of course we always need things to flip. And then, so let's go ahead and just glue that down. But also, if we wanted to adhere this down just on the sides, you know, we would have a pocket on top. Now this is, I feel like, this is starting to make it all very dimensional and uh, I'm trying to not make it too dimensional. So I don't think I'm going to make it into a pocket. I'm trying to decide because I'll have the pocket on the left side and I think all of my um, pictures will fit just fine over there. But then I was thinking like a journaling card might be cute. However, I haven't, I also have not decided what's going to go inside this flip. Okay, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, we have plenty of space. Okay, so that was easy, and so that's gonna be really cute. You can see how that opens up like that. I think I'll go ahead and just adhere it down and not make it into a pocket, or I could just leave it for now. Okay, I have this journaling card. I have a lot of things that I'm hoping to kind of like use on this page, so I'm not too sure how it's all gonna pan out, but if this was a pocket, I suppose, I suppose we could have that like so. Okay, so maybe I'm just gonna, we'll come back to this and I'll probably end up coming back to it a lot. But I also have this image and this is from, I don't know, a botanical book. And I'm telling you, I've, I've held on to this image for so long because I just knew it was gonna be perfect for something. Since um, I live in the Pacific Northwest, there's tons of trees and we live close to the mountain. So I just knew I was gonna use this. And again, I don't know, but I thought I could turn it into like a journaling card of some sort. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it out now. Ooh, when I, as I'm cutting, I see that it has the word December here and I might just cut that out and I can use that little word. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna notice that since I don't have this page very planned out, I'm definitely gonna be going back and forth. Okay, but here we go. Like, so maybe I can do something like this and I'm feeling like I need to bring you guys in a bit and then I'll work up here just a tad. Again, bear with me because I'm just trying to get the angles good for you guys. I also have a lot of my Tim Holtz like die cuts and things out that I think I'll use. Okay, so I'll probably do that, but again, let's just, okay. Yep, gonna go back to this side now. <laughs> okay, I have these vellum sheets from Tim Holtz. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but I have not used them yet and I've been dying to. And I think this will be the cover or like the, the top to one of the pockets. And so, oh, this is cute. There's like a little snowy um, scene, but there's also this one and it has a snowy cabin scene. And I, I think that's just the perfect one. Now, this pocket's going to have lots of things in it. So we need it to be able to hold lots of things. My trick for that is using envelopes as our pocket. And I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm wondering, oh yeah, because then that makes it really pop. Okay, let's go ahead and, so I have two envelopes here and um, we can go ahead and glue the flaps down. And I got this idea because I'm working on a project for my Patreon pen pals right now, creating like um, a, a pocket for ephemera. Um, I don't really know what you call it, but it has lots of, little pockets that you can actually pull out like it's expandable and so this is the same idea however much smaller and the trick is that you just are going to glue well first of all let's cut this down get a little ahead of myself here let's trim these down just the same uh, width as the paper here okay so I'm gonna go like this Okay, gotta say, I'm really digging this trimmer lately. I, I really thought I hated it, but it's come in handy. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and cut the top so that it's open. And if you're wondering why did I glue the flap down, well, I want the whole back to be completely like covered. 
if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna use my scissors for this because I'm just cutting a tiny little sliver. Like that, and then like this. And now, of course, since I trimmed these down, we do have this open side, but that's okay because I think I'll probably sew these down to the page when they're finished. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to glue only the center like this. And this is going to allow us to really be able to pull these apart and add lots of things. I don't know, I don't know the trick, but I didn't invent it. <laughs> and then we'll have the sides. You'll, you'll see it once it's, all, once it's all together. I'm gonna put my pictures to the side and grab those. I also have my family photo now for the front of the book. So we'll come back to that. These need to go to the side. Okay, so I wanna make sure that I have the right area of this trimmed off. And let me think about this because I don't think I wanna use glue on vellum. You can, but I'm gonna use my double-sided tape and I'm not worried if it's gonna show through a tiny bit, that's okay. But I think I also wanna add a tiny bit of lace to the top of where the pocket will be because I wanted to add one of these milk caps that I've also turned into a charm and I've been waiting to use because it has like this little snowy scene and it's just perfect. So I'm using all the things. This page is going to be pretty big, but I promise I have a lot of very simple pages coming up. So just stick around. And then I was hoping to also do a video showing you a few like foundation pages, but more for like junk journals. Um, if you guys have been watching lots of December daily videos, please leave below who have you been enjoying. I would love to check out more channels. I actually love watching people who do more like the Ali Evan. I always say Ali Evans. That's sort Ali Edwards style, like in Project Life um, books. But I get lots of inspiration from those girls. They're very talented. Okay. So like I said, I want to sew some lace across the top and so we need to figure out how much to trim off here because you have to do the sewing first. I can't sew across the pocket, otherwise we would shut it. Okay, just gonna go like that. And then I actually just happen to have my favorite lace up here. And so I will just go like this. I'm almost feeling like, should I do like a little collage? Cause maybe I should. Okay, I'm gonna keep it simple, but I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this fabric that's um, very sparkly and it had a winter scene on it. However, you can't see it in that little piece, but I know what it is. Okay, and then just a little piece of lace. And we'll just have kind of like a little collage, like I said, on the side here just for fun, because why not? I'll just kind of add those on like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew across so that our lace is attached. Okay, and I'm just using a zigzag stitch. And we'll just go right across the top here. I'm at a very weird angle, so I'm hoping that I get this on okay. Okay. Okay, I removed the backing to the tape, and now that I think about it, I probably didn't need to use double-sided tape because I am actually going to sew around the corners, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead. I keep thinking that I have the wrong side of the vellum, but I don't. It's just vellum and it's kind of see-through. Okay, so I'm gonna place it on here as good as I can. That wasn't great, but that's okay. Like I said, now we'll go ahead and sew around the three edges over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm dumb. Okay, now I, okay, I shouldn't say I'm dumb, but I messed up. Now I remember why I wasn't gonna sew around the sides, and that was because that's what helps keep this envelope expandable. Oh my gosh, so let me just quickly show you what I mean. 
because if you were wanting to try that, you're like, okay, this doesn't look very expandable. But when you do it correctly, let me just show you an example, you can pull it all the way open. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bummed that you can see like that. I'm a little bummed, but that's okay. We're just gonna have to go on with the show. We'll still just have to make it work. Ugh, I can't, I mean, I could try to take the stitches out, but that might be annoying. <laughs> okay, well, update. I got annoyed and I decided to go ahead and rip the seams out because I really wanted this to be more expandable. So now hopefully you can see that I can expand these way better, but I think I still have it. Anyways, not perfect, but that's okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this attached down here before we make any more mistakes. But just know, it's okay to make mistakes, just. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna glue this down. And then, I think I'm gonna take this vintage milk cap and I have pulled out the number four from my Tim Holtz stamps and I think I'm gonna try, I'm okay if this doesn't work, and stamp the back here, but guess what? I don't have my like my press for this, so we'll just go like this. But I might end up adding a four somewhere else on the layout. I just wanted to give this a try because I thought it might be cool. And watch, I'm gonna squeeze glue out everywhere. Okay, okay, that's cute. So we'll set that aside to dry, and then I'm gonna hang it on the side here once that's dry. I feel like there's a lot of waiting with this layout, but that's okay. All right, and then over here, let's see. So we've got this side going. We need to make our tags. And of course on the inside of this, I was going to do journaling, which I think I'm going to. Let's just go ahead and take this and line it with some coffee dyed paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink up the edges really quick with my pumice stone, because I think it kind of vibes well. And then we will glue this down on the coffee dye paper and I think I'll fold it over because I might want more space for journaling than just like one side and then also that way it can just flip up I'll show you okay so I'm just gonna fold that over and we will trim it like that just so I'll make a little bit of a border of the coffee dyed paper now of course you're not gonna see this piece until you open up little cabin but I'm okay with that like I said I've just been wanting to use it for a while and so I felt like this was the time I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of put that in I'll put it like this in the center that way when you fold it down most of this will be no I guess I'll, it would make more sense to have it closer to the top gosh I am really like indecisive today guys hopefully you all are as well PS stay till the end because I've got a, a little mini giveaway for you guys Okay, so there we go. Again, gonna do my journaling off, off camera. I try to share final photos on Instagram, so be sure to follow me over there. Okay, now of course we could put a photo or something over here and I might put my f another family photo. This one's going to be for the front of the book, but I have another one um, of us in the hot tub, so I think that would be a perfect spot for that. I'm just gonna have to do it later. Okay. Then I said I wanted to create this into a pocket, so let's go ahead and for this one I will be sewing it down. And I'm going to just sew around the three edges of this inner card. Okay, so I went ahead and just did that off camera. I sewed around and now we have a pocket. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece because I don't need 500 spots for journaling, but it's cute and this is the season to use up all the cute things that I've been wanting to use. And I think it looks kind of cute as the background right there. Okay, so I'm loving this. This is so fun. Okay, then over here, let's see how this is going. Are we dry yet? Hopefully. We're gonna go ahead and just attach this up onto the lace. And I feel like this little milk cap matches perfectly as well with the little vibe we have going on. Okay, let's hope this pops open. Let's hope this pops open right. Okay, it's a little glued together on the side, but you know what, I'll take it. There we go. There we go. Okay, um, let's go ahead and create the tag so we can pop our photos down and we'll be golden. Okay, I started without you, but I'm just trimming these down to three, about three and a half 
by six and I just chose my favorite papers that I wanted to use. These are all Tim Holtz papers. And so I got four tags here. I think that will be enough, but we can make more if we want. Oh my gosh, why did I seriously just move that as I, that's okay, one will just be a little shorter. I think I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna finish moving this off so I can eat. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut off the corners very simple, like that. And then I'll take this, and then I can use this tag as a guide. Like that. And then just do this to the rest. Okay, I'm gonna take, take my crocodile and try to get this as centered as possible and do a little hole. Um, that's probably good. I was very close to using eyelets in all of these tags and that would look really nice, but it would add so much bulk. So I decided against it. And then I have a variety of little tag toppers. So let's see, for this one, I'll use some red sari silk. And then I think I'm just gonna like add the photos very, very easily, you'll see. Okay, for the green, actually I'll use, I have a green and white one here for this tag. Now I'm trying to figure out, do I want like journaling spaces for each card? I don't think I'll need that because I have so much journaling space. I can just go ahead and add all of the details in wherever I decide to journal. Um, and then just have the photos on here. They kind of speak for themselves. All right. These are ready now for our photo photos and we are getting there. Okay. I was, I've seriously been dreaming about this lamp. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead now and just blindly grab these photos and adhere them down right onto the tag, just using glue. I might add sewing detail around these, but I can tell you I'm not gonna do it right now. I kind of feel like I made this project just a little too big for the amount of time and energy I had right now. So I just want to get it mostly done. Like I said, I'm going to show photos at the end, or sorry, on my Instagram. And I also told you guys that if you wait till the end, I'm going to have a little giveaway, but I thought I would throw that in now because you guys have waited all this time. Um, and so the giveaway, I'm going to have the details down below, but if you leave me a comment saying your snowman looked like Elvis, that will enter you. And what would make it way easier for me to find you if you are the winner is to leave me your Instagram handle. If you don't have Instagram, just maybe tell me a place that I can find you like on Facebook or your email, something like that. Um, I will say that, uh, Sometimes emails are not the, uh, they get filtered out. So you'll have to like leave a space in between your email, but Instagram would make it the easiest. So the, and then like the, the winner or the, oh my gosh, I can't, I am really tired. Um, the prize is a $25 gift card to Amazon and be sure to keep watching my videos because I'm going to have lots of fun little surprises like that for you guys. So. I'm just wanting to see how these were fit, going to fit. I still have a few more photos. I should have maybe actually made these all different sizes, but that's okay because I can stagger them like that. All right, I'm liking this. I have a few more. I'm just deciding how, if I want to add them to the backs or what I want to do. Since I'm not sure, I want to be, I want to be a good role model for you guys and let you know it's okay to take breaks and i just feel like i'm not thinking straight i'm hungry so i'm gonna just leave these photos for now i will come back and add them however i want when i have a little bit more time to think about it and that's okay sometimes we have to do that i did want to go through and see if there were any die cuts but i feel like we're good i feel like we have enough going on i'm gonna go ahead and grab my journal because i do want to at least get these down in here and I still hadn't added the number four um, for the fourth, but I have a few options and ways that I was thinking. I just have like a little date stamp on on this little oops, label and 
I use this little date stamp right here, this roller stamp, which I love. And so I was thinking I might put it up here. I kind of like it on that page, but again, I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and come back to it. I'm going to use glue just all over the place for this right here. And then I do like to make sure I have the edges. I could use double-sided tape, but I'm just personally, I don't, I don't love double-sided tape for too many things. You guys probably know I love my Tombow Mono Aqua Glue, which is what I use. And if you're new, you might not know, but I, it's like the only glue that I trust with my life. <laughs> okay, that's a little dramatic, but here we go. I'm just gonna glue this down, and then I think that's going to conclude this video for now. And I appreciate you guys for stopping by. I'll have some supplies linked down below that you saw me use here and some of my favorites. And I do have an Amazon haul video coming up because I have recently got a bunch of things that I'm using for my pen pal mail. I just remembered I have this little four. You know what guys? I took a break in between filming here and I was looking all over for this four. Holy moly. I found it. This is what I wanted to use. It's a little Brad. How funny. That's four. And I guess I put it up here because I wanted to remind myself to use it for the spread. And because if you noticed, I did stamp on this, but it got a little smudgy, but I said that's okay. So that's fine though, because that's just the back. <laughs> How funny. I probably would have added it down here, but that's going to be hard to do now. So I'm going to have to find a different spot for this. I'm still happy I found it. We are done for today's video. That's where I placed the four. I am in love with this layout and I just love this little cabin. It's not, you know, a perfect cabin, but I think it's so cute. And if you guys wanted the link to where you can get this printable, of course, that's going to be down below. I should have a video coming where I'll show you how you can actually use it as a printable, spruce it up and things like that. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.